It's a residence that's so big that it reportedly has its own zip code. Today, we're going to look at the astonishing Calabasas home of actor and musician Will Smith. We'll take a look inside the walls with the amazing special features it holds, including a history-making recording studio. We'll even see just how valuable the compound is. We'll then examine his other homes for comparison, including the stunning multi-million dollar motorhome. It's like a mansion on wheels. On top of this, we'll also take a brief look at the luxury car collection that could be hidden within Calabasas' grounds. So let's get started. The house that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith spend the majority of their time in is this stunning building in Calabasas, California. It's where their children, Jaden and Willow, also grew up, with their half-brother Trey also spending time there. What a home it is to be raised within. Other famous names that have lived in Calabasas as the Smith's neighbors include Kim Kardashian, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and many more. Since Will Smith has a net worth of $350 million and Jada has $50 million to her name, this gives the couple a lot of cash to splash on their dream home. The Calabasas project first began in 2003 and was designed by architect Steven Samuelson. He had quite a large canvas to work with since the property contains 150 acres of land within the Santa Monica Mountains. For comparison, that's three times the size of New York's Grand Central Station. The house itself is 25,000 square feet in size, that's twice as big as Fort Knox. The main ingredient that the Smiths wanted in the design was that the house would be a handmade environment that's tied to the land. The building uses various interpretations of Adobe throughout. We aren't talking about the software company, but the type of building material. The design takes uses of Adobe from such places as Morocco, Spain, Persia, and southwestern America in order to combine them to what we see today. The nine-bedroom property has a circular floor plan. Smith stated that this infinite cycle is a representation of the love between the couple. Fun fact, Will Smith actually met Samuelson through Gene Hackman on the set of the 1999 film Wild Wild West. The landscape designer for Calabasas was Daniel Busbin. He was involved with the creation of the lake and the beautiful gardens. As for the interior, designer Judith Lance was in charge. She stated that everything in the house had to look handcrafted but at the same time refined and sophisticated. The interior takes inspiration from the Mediterranean and Africa in order to make it truly stunning. Even the front door has history, since it was salvaged from a fort based in North India and shipped to California. The Calabasas compound wouldn't be fully completed until 2010. A house like this doesn't come cheap. By 2014, the compound was placed on the market for a brief time. The Smiths were looking for $42 million for the Calabasas property. Due to the unique design of the house, it's even been used as a fundraising location. In 2012, the Smiths, along with many other big names, held an event on the Calabasas compound to raise funds for then-President Barack Obama's re-election campaign. According to some reports, tickets to the event weren't cheap. The basic price was around $2,500, but there were various incentives as the price was increased. In order to have a photo with the First Lady, Michelle Obama, who was at the event, the ticket would cost $10,000. For an exclusive meet-and-greet with the First Lady, the cost rises further to $40,000. Altogether, the event is said to have raised a whopping $2.1 million. Considering how much the property is worth, there's bound to be some special features that increase its value, one of which is the personal recording studio embedded within. As many of the Smiths have dabbled in the realm of music, this room is pretty useful for them. It's been reported that this studio was used for their daughter Willow Smith when she recorded her song Whip My Hair during 2010. If you feel inspired to get your own, costs of building your own recording studio can vary wildly. For a personal non-commercial studio, it can cost between a few hundred dollars to up to fifty thousand dollars, while a professional studio can cost millions. Another amazing feature is the home theater on the grounds. After all, since most of the Smith family have been involved with acting, having a place to enjoy their passion is probably a necessity. The average cost in the US for a home cinema is between $10,000 to $50,000. However, there are many cases where the cinema has gone more luxurious for the owners. As such, it can cost hundreds of thousands, if not creeping into the millions. Everyone remembers the intro to The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with Will Smith coming across a problem on a basketball court. Well, the actor also shares a love of the sport. As such, he has his own outside basketball court in Calabasas. The cost to install an NBA-sized court can cost $46,000, but if you're okay with it being on the smaller size, the average cost of a court is around $36,000. Most installations tend to cost between eleven dollars to $76,000 depending on the size and materials used. Other features of the property include a meditation lounge, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. There's also a lake with an island and a gazebo. Smith has stated he has made some of his toughest decisions in his life whilst gazing at the view from the gazebo. Beyond Calabasas, the Smiths have purchased a number of large homes together. One of the earliest was in 1998. They purchased an 8,000 square foot mansion in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania for the cost of $937,500. 
Also in 2003, the same year they purchased Calabasas, the Smiths splashed the cash on a home in Hidden Hills, Los Angeles. The five-bedroom, six-bathroom house cost them a reported $3.4 million. However, it wasn't used often by the family. By 2017, the Hidden Hills house became the permanent residence for their son, Jaden Smith. For a number of years, the Smiths had a getaway house in Hawaii to vacation in, but by 2011, they fancied a change. So, they sold it to Ekaterina Rybolovlev for $20 million. The Smiths then bought a second Hawaii home in 2015. Located on the beachfront of Kauai's North Shore, the property contains the main home, a guest house, and a carriage house. Altogether, there are seven bedrooms, seven full bathrooms, and two half bathrooms. It was purchased by the Smiths for around $10 million, but by 2017, the property was sold for $12 million, giving the Smiths a little profit to enjoy. Yet one of Will Smith's most famous homes isn't actually a house per se. Instead, it's a motorhome, and what an incredible motorhome it is. He primarily uses it when filming on set, such as for Ali, The Pursuit of Happiness, and Men in Black 3. After all, when you're Will Smith, a typical trailer won't do. Smith's two-story RV is called The Heat. The mobile home is 1,200 square feet and sits on 22 wheels. It weighs 30 tons. That's the weight of four and a half African bush elephants. Inside, The Heat has 14 television screens, a private cinema with space for 30 seats, a dressing room, and 360-degree video surveillance. Smith even had Star Trek doors leading into the wardrobe room, showing that he's partial to the sci-fi franchise. The motorhome is also laced with top-of-the-range technology. At just the touch of a button, it will change from its road shape into the mansion hiding beneath. The interior is even covered with $30,000 worth of leather. There's also said to be $150,000 worth of granite in the bathrooms and kitchen. According to various reports, it cost Smith around $2.5 million to build the motorhome. If you want a taste of what it's like to live in such an incredible vehicle, you can. The heat is available for rent. A week under your care will set you back around $9,000. Since the Calabasas home is so, so big, Will Smith has plenty of space for his car collection. After all, the property has an eight-car garage. One of Smith's prized possessions is the BMW i8 Hybrid. While it's a plug-in to aid the environment, something that Smith is very passionate about, the car is also very sleek. The 2020 model has such features available as a heads-up driver display, parking sensors, dual-zone automatic climate control, and many more interesting extras. The manufacturer's suggested retail price for the base coupe is around $149,000. Another in his collection is the luxury car, the Rolls-Royce Ghost. The 2020 Series 2 sedan has a 6.5-liter V12 engine with 563 horsepower. Inside, the car even has upgradable options, such as massage seats available for an extra fee, of course. The base price for this extravagant vehicle starts at around $315,000. Classic car fans won't be disappointed by Will Smith either, because also in his vast collection is a 1965 Ford Mustang in cherry red. As the Mustang was released in 1965, it makes this vehicle all the more collectible. The engines in the early models vary. They had an engine size of between 2.8 to 4.7 liter, and a horsepower between 106 to 275. Online, private collectors often have an asking price of as much as $135,000. And that's it! Which part of Smith's Calabasas home was your favorite? We're partial to the home theater. Let us know yours in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. All of those actions really help us out. Finally, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.